Hi guys, I'm Marty Core and this is Basket Island, a spin-off of the Legacy Challenge that we had for several years on this channel. I have a new PC, only the graphics card and one disc is taken from the old one. Uh, graphics card is a pretty important thing, but still, like, you know, the CPU is different and everything else is different. So, um... If my game looks different now from before, uh, especially if it looks worse in some places, sorry for that. Um, I still haven't installed the light mod that I've been I'd been using for quite a long time. Uh, you know, you have to like put things in folders separately. It's a lot of work. I've only had this computer for like five days, so. <laughs> Still haven't done that. There were other things I had to do. So I hope that's okay if something looks a little bit weird sometimes. Also, I want to test if the game is stable uh, in the long run, you know, uh, because everything looks pretty good so far. Uh, so I, I, I really need to test it out. I kind of feel like the colors are more vibrant. Um, but I also feel like Felicia is glowing a little bit too much, like the whites are freaking crazy. That sounded really weird, but, um, <laughs> Felicia's gown and the chess table, they just look a little bit weird. So that might be due to the lack of the light mod, but, um, and I also typed in uh, use shaders off just in case and nothing changed really. Other than that, I think the game looks fine. And they still have um, a potty chair. <laughs> that is not necessary anymore since their son is like super an adult. Uh, we played him last time in the first episode. I mean, the main focus on, of that family was Sadie, uh, his teenage daughter. Um, and now I am playing Sadie's grandparents. So they only have some time to live. I'm pretty sure that Isaiah will probably go sooner than Felicia. Um, also, I can see that here Felicia's uh, clothes actually look fine. So I think this this might be the light mod thing. Maybe I am just not used to the vanilla lighting anymore. I don't know. Because also the white objects, when I was looking at them and they seemed to glow too much, uh, they are against windows. Uh, Felicia moved from the window and she looks normal now. So yeah, they are basically two elders and two cats. Uh, this is the household and they have some objects to oh. use like chess, like gaming stuff and um, an easel. And I just wanted them to maybe focus on their hobbies a little bit or something. She is into science and I wanted to give her the career reward. I think she should have it or maybe not. You were inventor level six. I am pretty sure you should have this reward. But, well, I did give you this job through mods, I think. So, uh, yeah, she should definitely have this. Yes, the biotech station is unlocked at level 6, so she should have it. Uh, so, I guess I will just cheat it for her. Career manipulator, un unlock career objects. Um, science. Thank you. She should have it on the outside of the house, blocking the window <laughs> because there's no space inside. Maybe she could have it in the backyard. Oh no, they don't have the backyard door, the, the back door of the house. Uh, I usually delete those for the house to be cheaper. Uh, and yeah, I, like I delete the porch and the fence and everything on the other side of the house because I feel like that's useless. That's so non-American of me, I know. Especially if there is a back door and there's nothing behind that door. It's just a door to open space. There isn't a fence. There, there isn't anything behind the back door. That doesn't make any sense. Okay, um, I think Felicia will live throughout the um, this round easily. I am not so sure about Isaiah, but it's very possible that they will both live throughout the, the whole four days. Uh, and they are both retired, so uh, yeah, they just need some, some things to do. 
That's pretty much it. I hardly ever play only elders. Uh, I never um, move out every single sim from the house. I always, like, let's say there are three children. Two of them move out and one always stays. And usually it's the youngest one. But here there was no space in this house for um, Jed's family. And also there wasn't really enough space for the elders to go to the other house. Um, where Jed lives now, so I just kept them here. And I figured, why not? From time to time I can play just Elders. Okay, Isaiah wants to make zombies. He also wants Sadie to be an overachiever and get an A+. Hey, Bruce. Um, she wants to go to Far East vacation, of course. There are no vacation destinations here. None. She wants the same things for Sadie. Of course, she wants to resurrect Chloe. Maximize the skill. Okay, that's something we can work on. And buy new clothes. Boring. Maximize the skill. Okay. Should be logic. Hey, that's a really cool chair. I never noticed that it has a, like, a trail here. That's nice. Uh, Isaiah is a little bit... I mean, they, are, they both are a little bit tired for this time of day. I mean, I guess you guys could nap. You could nap. That's also something to do, right? And the cats are napping too. Oh my god. Oh yeah, they have part-time jobs. Uh, Felicia is retired as an inventor and she works in education. Uh, they definitely need jobs to pay, you know, bills. Um, and he is retired as Trash Docker level, level 3, that's the gamer career, and also he works as a slacker, as a gas station uh, attendant level 2. So whenever the cars come, you can just go. Uh, okay, Isaiah is actually not working today. Oh, Sadie called him. If you're wondering, this is Isaiah Gavigan from the Gavigan family. Because, you know, I killed everyone. And he was adopted. <laughs> yeah, playing with the cat. The cats are so cute in this family. This is Heidi. And this is Hexie. They were spawned kittens in the shelter. Uh, spawned after I cleaned out all the subfolders that, you know, give you like the stock animals in the shelter. I recommend doing that because you get really nice, unique, new mixes of the kittens and um, puppies, uh, also made from strays, uh, so exactly like adopted babies, uh, sim babies. So um, yeah, of course you can't have the no stray respawn mod that I usually use. I take it out for this process to even be available. Uh, for, for the kittens and puppies to actually spawn. And yeah, highly recommend. I, I have to redo the cleaning out folders. That, that's also one of the things that I haven't done yet. That's not something that I could just back up and, you know, like I, the, the process of putting in backup would be exactly the same as just doing it from scratch. So I didn't even bother with that. Okay, you want to paint? Sure. And he's napping again. Have some tea. Oh, that's nice. Oh, I forgot to mention that I'm on Windows 11 now. And EA app, of course. Oh no! <laughs> Such a classic thing to happen when you have cats. He can't cook because both cats are on the counters. Taking both counters that were available. <laughs> Could you please go somewhere else? Thank you. And she came back, of course. Let's have some breakfast and um, talk about love, of course. And, and elephants. <laughs> hey, let's talk about the elephant in the room. I'm in love with you. Okay, Isaiah actually wants something. Command Heidi to roll over. I didn't even know she could. Okay, Heidi might have been... Yeah, I think Heidi is one of the pre-made cats. Because I definitely didn't teach those cats anything. That's not possible. Um, okay, cleaning level two. No problem. You can actually clean the house. That would be useful. Very beautiful. Se sell this? No, you can't sell... Oh, 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 interesting. You have to click on the easel when it's the diagonal easel. 
This is a mod, by the way, because a normal easel can't be used if you uh, just put it on a 45 degree angle of rotation um, cheat. Yeah, this is it. I mean, it's straight when you take it out, but you can use the cheat to uh, place it and Sims can actually use it. It's just called diagonal easel. It's very easy to find. Oh, hey, Holton. <laughs> It even says in the um, skill notification, so yeah. He just came to visit the cat, apparently. And the cat ignores him. Jane That's what Mara. cats do. Holton, could you maybe not be in our house when there's no one here except the cats? Nah, he's just gonna play chess. Overly bright chess. We could move the scratch post somewhere else, maybe somewhere here. There's some space and uh, and like get rid of this coffee table because it's not really that used. And we could also move this here and they could have yeah, like be. proper space for that. It's still on the window. I don't really like that very much. Can I use the quarter tile placement to do it like this so that this is in between windows. Uh, still doesn't look very good. <laughs> I could also move this here instead of the couch and move the couch somewhere else. Like build it again. <laughs> Maybe let's do it like this. Like there's a couch and an armchair and we can move the easel here, not diagonally. Can they use it if it's not diagonal? <laughs> yeah, okay, she can use it. Uh, and also on this easel, when you click on the painting, nothing happens. On a normal easel, uh, clicking on the painting gives you the same options as clicking on the easel. So this is also the, the difference. You're a little bit low on fun, Isaiah. You want a skill point? I guess you could get that charisma to... Um, get a promotion or something, but uh, yeah, just play some games, I guess. We could buy you more games, though. Practice speech a little bit, and when it's time to go to bed, just go. Felicia is very happy with that painting hobby she just took up out of nowhere. Oh, he got the point. Okay, go to sleep. If you're wondering what's happening here, um, this, th this has no door. This is just like... Uh, part of the hall, I guess, uh, and this is a really, really small study. <laughs> the bookcase situation is basically just uh, the base game bookcase and base, base game desk, just recolored by Michelle probably, placed together on move objects, which makes kind of like one piece of furniture, I guess, except that it looks kind of weird here. <laughs> And I can show you with Felicia, um, because writing in diary doesn't really prove it, that she can just take a book from the bookcase and use it. Oh, she actually wants a mechanical skill point. We can do that. Oh, of course. Felicia wants to public woohoo. I guess this is a do it before you die kind of thing, because uh, she doesn't have any secondary aspiration. Uh, I actually didn't assign them any and I would just leave it this way, but um, yeah, that's not really that much of a knowledge aspiration, like want. Uh, so, well, okay, sure, we can do that. They have a lot of couches in this house, don't they? Just two old people having fun while they can. Yeah, and there's a camera looking inside. That seems to euphoria. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this icon is super creepy. What the hell? <laughs> yes, these PJs are perfect for it. Ducks. And now we can observe cats, what they do when the humans are away. Of course, on the counter. They love the counters. Okay, the last day has passed and Isaiah is fine, so we will go back to them in the next round. It's it's just that Felicia will be alone for a few days, unfortunately. But, you know, someone has to die first. This is not the notebook. Okay, the Fura seniors, this, this was this family, um, are done. So now maybe let's play with the Chalmers family because... I only have three days to play here, and after those three days, Summer might be going to college. Or she will just 
become an adult. But still, that's enough of a threshold, let's say, to just stop playing at that point and maybe even move one day to the next round. I do that often. The same goes for the Genesee family. Also in three days, David might be going to college. He and Summer are the same age. And if they both go to college, I um, decide that based on wants. Uh, on the want on the last day. This is inspired by Pleasant Sims, by the way. If they both go, they will just go at the same time in the same dorm and we will be playing two Sims at college. But I leave the Genesee family to the very end of this round because we just had plenty of gameplay in this family. <laughs> so that makes sense, I think. Okay, let's go here. They also have a puppy that I hope will grow up in this round. Ah, oh, not yet. Not within the three days. Okay. I just wanted to see what the puppy looks like. So here we have Autumn, Ryan, of course. Oh, by the way, my new computer's name is Irid. Uh, I name things and my previous computer was named Ryan. That's why I thought of it. And Summer, that is, uh, it says four days, but in three days she will be um, going to college or becoming an... Uh, an adult and for now she wants to go to college but it might change it, it might even change at the very end uh like on the last morning she's just like nah i ain't going to college okay <laughs> so summer's parents are both romance sims and they are not really officially in a relationship uh ryan is not even in love with autumn so it's kind of like a strange situation maybe they were just having a fling for a very very long time and suddenly they had a child and it just kind of happened you know this is a lifetime one chooser i don't really need that here <laughs> anymore uh summer's lifetime want is to become a professional party guest so it's not really it's not very ambitious it's also i don't think this can roll for a popularity sim but i think it's like the calculator showed me that it's really that this career is really suitable for her and i think it's actually pretty great uh yeah and she has a thing with naven they are a crush and um i think they kissed already yeah oh okay about freaking time <laughs> he is 63 <laughs> and he has been with autumn since he was like 20 something so yeah so ryan was once uh kind of a roommate of tenny right um and he is very much into sewing uh so we will be doing that um for him especially and um yeah he is still i i think he yeah he still has like an adult job he's a gas station attendant which is kind of stupid because um there's probably not more than one gas station on this really small island should there even be a gas station here uh and we had two sims um working at a gas station that's fine um be especially that isaiah was just promoted so we can just forget about it um yeah and uh, summer is a spelunker i can't even remember if willy uh the poppy oh okay you're here uh i can't even remember if he is a uh, small or big dog they literally just got him and they didn't even move him to the house yet so <laughs> maybe let's do that yeah just run with him <laughs> he doesn't even have any furniture yet they don't really have a proper living room they only have a kitchen and a dining table and a sewing machine here and that's it they don't even have a couch i might get them a couch i think yeah, maybe something like this. Did I place the chair in the wrong place? I think so. Did I place the whole machine the wrong way? <laughs> yeah, of course I did. They are, in general, not very rich, as you probably noticed. Autumn, she's an elder. She has the first face template and she has the custom hair that is colored. You can find it on my Pinterest. They are all just generated townies, dormies, really. Uh, and Ryan is very beautiful and Summer is actually very similar to him. But of course, she's a girl, so she looks a lot better. Yes. I see that Summer doesn't really have the greatest idea on what to do, so I won't be flipping a coin or guitar pick uh, today for the homework. She will just do it because she has nothing better to do. 
She could invite Naven, but she doesn't have any want of getting on a going on a date or anything like that. So whatever. Oh, they have bills. Four forty. Okay, this is probably the only family that actually has bills, because we started on Thursday. Uh, they are <laughs> they are so poor they can't afford that, and I just bought a bunch of stuff for them. That's just great. Okay, Autumn, how much do you make? Okay, not much. Um, Ryan, how many pot holders did you make? Okay, that's better. Uh, I put Ryan to sleep in the afternoon. Uh, now he has full energy because he works nights and uh, today is his day off. Uh, so I didn't want to like irregulate his uh, life cycle. <laughs> he will just be sewing during the night. One more pot holder that we can sell and the bills are done. There's actually one here. Just hanging. Now you will have one simoleon after you pay the bills. So he won't be sewing the whole night because um, he has no money to start any projects. That's fine. He will just have bonding time with the dog. Actually at 4 a.m. I think you can go to sleep already. I guess they really like purple and blue. We can't even feed the dog. Okay, that's pretty bad. He's not that hungry. And I think we can afford to give him a treat. Because it costs one. <laughs> but other than that, uh, we need to make some money. Oh, of course they don't have a kitchen sink. That's such a classic in houses that I furnish. Uh-oh, he's very hungry now, suddenly. He wants a bottle. Okay, feed treat. Okay. He's a little better. They work such late hours. He is not going to be good. Okay, let's sell this. That works. We can make another one. Oh. Okay, not doing homework today because you have couples counseling to learn. But first, some basic reading to do. Oh, hi. They became best friends. Oh, uh, what now? I played two days and their age only progressed by one. If it hadn't progressed at all, I would just assume I had aging off. But no, this is actually super weird. Okay, um... I don't think I've ever had that happen. Let's go to agent time manipulator and subtract. No, okay. Inseminator, please. This and age days left. Subtract one day summer. Subtract one day autumn. Yeah. And Ryan and Willie. Um, he will age at 11. We started at 7 a.m. Uh, on Thursday. Now it's 11 on Saturday, so he should be aged by three days already. Yeah, because we will be finishing this, um, episode tomorrow in the morning. So he won't make it to age up to an adult dog yet. I think no one aged on Thursday or something. I don't know. Now that it's Saturday, I think Summer can actually go to a community lot, maybe meet someone new, maybe meet up with Naven. Call transportation. I don't want this to be a date because that's too engaging. Uh, she wants to also meet other people, so let's just invite Naven to a community lot. Doesn't have to be another teenager because she's very close to being an adult already, so she can just meet another adult. And uh, she also wants more best friends so we can also try to do that of course not in this one sitting here but just meet the person who potentially can be her new best friend be caressed oh he just now got a crush okay dustin sharp maybe cool oh hey alexander okay if if this is a teenager from another played family i guess that's fine too because they will age along with her alexander is significantly younger than them uh like four years probably but in the future that won't be that big of a difference yeah <laughs> hi there 
Hey, Holden. Okay, you should meet Holden as well. Because that's your future father-in-law, probably. Hey, Sadie. Yeah, Sadie is the same age as Alexander. So, uh, yeah, he starts this round at 15. Oh, yeah, Frederick is being mean to someone. Episode 361. Of course. Okay, Ryan, I think you can start some projects, actually. Teddy bears, maybe. And he went for a nap, which is a really good idea because his energy dropped and he needs to be at work soon. Oh! Okay, now there are no gas station attendants. <laughs> there are two convenience store clerks. Don't go for a nap right now. You, you can just go to sleep. Every town, every island needs a convenience store, so there can easily be two clerks. Okay, the moment of truth. Is Summer going to college? No. Okay, that's her decision. Okay, in this case, I guess I can play until 11 and see what the dog is. I think it's a small dog. I'm pretty sure. I, I don't think I would give this family a big dog. They don't really have the space for it. Oh no, now Ryan goes in the morning. He definitely didn't get enough sleep. And he has no vacation days, he just has to go. Well, that happens. You know what, guys? You need a kitchen sink. I need to finally give you that. The gift of a kitchen sink. There you go. Oh, Summer. Oh, you're playing with me. What the hell is this? <laughs> so now what? I guess she's going, but I will still play until 11 because I already promised. Okay, I'll just log this in. Actually, Summer won't be coming back to this household. She will probably go straight to the Genesis after college. Uh, so it doesn't really matter at what hour I finish uh, because usually it's just the, the case of, you know, if the Sim comes back to the family, uh, I treat university has frozen time so they just go back to their original family exactly as it was when they left so um yeah so the hour is kind of relevant to uh you know their needs they have reset needs full energy and everything so i always try to send them to college at max 8 a.m uh to just you know their needs to make sense when they come back that's basically it okay pop we're waiting. Come on. Fireworks, please. Which is, um... Oh, he's so cute! Yes! Uh, the fireworks are kind of ironic to the fact that most dogs are super terrified of fireworks. Aww. Yay! Okay, so that's it for today. Not too long of an ending because I need Summer to go to college, like, soon. At the very end of the round when I have played with Naven already, I will just send both of them if Naven goes to college, of course. And kind of in between rounds we will have, like, an, like an extra round at college. So next time I think I will be playing with the Fratster family and we will have a wedding. And as always, Thank you very much for watching, please subscribe, comment, subscribe, like the video, and see you in the next one. Bye! Only on the upside, skies are blue. Show me to the sunrise, wet with dew. Take me to the valley, green and cool, super blue.